I'm not someone that was born with any special talent. Everything that I have accomplished has come from hard work. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yes, ma'am. Engage. I learn from my failures and keep moving forward. I've learned to never give up on myself and my dreams. To listen to those that are successful and follow in their footsteps. I love the rush that comes from running my gun on a course of fire. I have set big goals for myself. And to help me reach them, I've asked for the help of some of the greatest shooters in the country people that I respect and admire. I feel very blessed. Completely poked out right now. He's been climbing all day. I did so hard. And this bull just kept escaping us. The rewards in the journey, and this has been an unbelievable journey so far. In the heart of Big Sky Country, you will find my friends, Melinda and Ray. Together, we all share the common passion for precision shooting and welcome every opportunity to send rounds downrange together. For PRS, you're engaging small targets out to specific distance. Typically, the bolt gun series goes out to 12, 1500, okay? And I would say most of the targets are the smallest target you'll probably engage will be one MOA, but the average is two to three MOA at each distance, all right? Now the challenge comes in where they put random obstacles in front of you, and they challenge you to engage these small targets, and then they add a time limit. The greatest gift that you can give someone is your time. The shooting community welcomes new shooters to the sport of precision shooting. Great ambassadors that are willing to invest their time and expertise to help people like me reach their goals. So today we're at this range, uh, Rock Lake Rifle Range. We're really excited because it's windy. Uh, we can always get better at calling the wind. We can always get better at shooting in the wind. Uh, today we're gonna run over some different stages. Uh, I'll watch you shoot, I'll shoot a little bit, watch me, and we'll kind of talk about what happened. You know, where did we screw up or where did we do well? Um, that's how we can kind of learn from each other and uh, rock and roll on all these stages today. Shooter ready. I feel good. What I mean, my shots call? all broke, felt good. What was your wind call? Well, none of the other girls held for wind. And that's a key point in the competition shooting is because you can talk to every other competitor, right? Yeah. And the guy before you, he might have held one mil. But if you don't make your own evaluation, Hold into the wind, maybe right edge of the target. Okay. See if you get that hit. Hit. Impact. Impact. Yeah. Good lesson. So stage one, we're gonna shoot at uh, the first human torso out there. It's at 385 yards. Okay. It's gonna be a really good target for this particular range. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have four different shooting positions and we're gonna take two shots from each shooting position. Impact. Miss. 
impact. Okay, good. A couple things we can work on with this stage. This rock seemed to be a lot more challenging for you than that rock. Yeah. And so one of the things I noticed is you have a, a really nice bag here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this bag over here and I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I run the bag. So you had the bag sitting just like that. And then you had this sitting right here. So now the rifle is doing what? I have to it's control falling. it with my body. You have to control it, right? I would probably turn this to the side and I would run right over the top of that. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because now who's controlling the rifle? It's all controlling itself. And so I don't have to do anything besides some minute adjustments right here. And you're pulling the trigger just like that. Okay. That was hey. impact to me. Nice Thank you. That was great. You showed good follow through afterwards. I liked it. How did it feel? Rock solid. Rock solid. Rock right. solid. No problem. Easy day. But I had already built the position. I wasn't under time constraint. And that's where those that's problems where it... start to come up, right? Yeah. So one other thing I want to show you that will also do what this does, your trusty tripod. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you can do is, you see it's resting on the leg right now with your support hand. You just pinch into the leg and you have that stability you're looking for. And if you need to make small adjustments, you can go up, you can go down on the target and just keep pinching, right? The difference between good shooters and great shooters is the ability to make hits downrange, regardless of the distance, the shooting position, the wind condition, or the time constraint. Training for adversity is how we get stronger, taking our misses as learning experiences and moving on to the next target. It's a tough shot, but we're getting into more advanced stuff now, Christy. Well, I want to try this other position, though. Hit. There you go. That's one thing I have noticed with me is I tend to want to hold too much wind. But now this <laughs> shooting position, I feel like I'm going to slide off the dang thing. So, and that's the challenge of this particular rooftop is that there's no feet holds and it's just steep enough where you're you're trying to get grip on it. So the training that I do is typically um, substantially harder than anything you'll ever see. And I do that because it's just like, Makes you a better shooter. it's just like working out. You're not gonna work out lifting a spoon. No, you're gonna work out lifting some weights. So it challenges you to, to get better, to get stronger. Anytime you have the opportunity, try to shoot that smaller target. In shooting sports, there's nothing holding the ladies back from being as good as the guys. This is a sport that welcomes everyone. We shoot side by side as both competitors and friends. 